The most important variables for achieving your fitness goals are your training and nutrition. Supplements have a small effect on your overall progress, so you don't need any supplements if you want to build muscle or lose fat. But there still are some supplements that have slight benefits. Creatine monohydrate is one of the few scientifically validated supplements that provide some unique benefits. Most people already know about the positive effects of creatine on strength training performance, but a little known benefit of creatine supplementation is that it also boosts brain performance. We'll dive into both of these benefits in this video. But first, what is creatine? In human energy production, we use the nutrient creatine to synthesize ATP. ATP is basically the energy currency of the human body. For all human movement, we use the molecule ATP to fuel the activity. Your body only stores a limited amount of ATP at each time. This is enough to fuel a few seconds of high intensity exercise. To resynthesize ATP and provide fuel for training, your body first uses the creatine phosphate stored within your muscle cells. So the more creatine you have stored in your muscles, the longer you can sustain high intensity training. This is why many people experience that they can do an extra rep or two on an exercise if they start supplementing with creatine. Because creatine is simply a nutrient, you may be asking yourself whether you can get creatine from any food sources. The answer is yes, but not in sufficient quantities. Animal-based protein sources like fish and meat contain creatine, but in small amounts. The effective dose of creatine is around 3 to 5 grams per day. Larger athletes may need even more. To get this amount of creatine from food, you'd have to consume multiple pounds of meat in a day. So it's fair to say that supplementing with creatine is far more practical than trying to get your creatine solely from food. Now back to creatine's effects. Since creatine improves your training performance, research shows that it also helps with slightly boosting muscle and strength gains. These results make sense. Consistently performing better in your training will eventually result in better training adaptations. So if you have a sound training program and are mindful of your nutrition, creatine can help you get slightly better results. Now that we've looked into creatine's effects on training, let's look into a lesser known benefit of creatine supplementation, brain performance. A 2018 research review gathered the data from six creatine studies on cognitive function. The researchers found that creatine helps improve memory in healthy individuals. A more recent 2019 literature review supports the idea that creatine helps improve brain function. This review found that creatine mainly helps boost cognition at times when you are under more stress or have to perform complex tasks. So populations like students or those that have mentally demanding jobs can benefit from creatine. The reason creatine has positive cognitive effects is that like muscle, the brain uses ATP as its energy currency. Supplementing with creatine increases the availability of creatine phosphate in the brain cells, which then enhances brain energy metabolism. To put this in simple terms, your brain basically can work harder if more creatine is available. But as a side note, just like how creatine by itself will not get you jacked, using creatine also won't necessarily make you smarter, it just has slight performance benefits, both mentally and physically. Now that we've looked into the main benefits of creatine, let's also look into the general health effects and see if there are any drawbacks. Since creatine has been around for a while, it has been studied a lot. In 2017, the International Society of Sports Nutrition released a large research review on creatine. The researchers conclude that supplementation within recommended doses is safe for healthy individuals. Numerous other research reviews support this. The only consistent side effect we see from creatine supplementation in the literature is slight weight gain. This happens because creatine increases water retention. But since this water is stored within your muscle cells and not under your skin, you should not experience any bloating. If you want to start using creatine, all you need to do is take 3 to 5 grams of creatine monohydrate every day. After a few weeks of supplementation, your muscle cells will be saturated with creatine and the daily supplementation will keep them saturated. To speed up the creatine saturation process, you could go on a loading phase and time your creatine after training. But this makes a small practical difference. You eventually accomplish the same thing if you just take creatine every day. All in all, there's no need to complicate creatine supplementation. Taking 3 to 5 grams per day of creatine monohydrate is all you need to do to achieve the benefits. There are also other forms of creatine next to creatine monohydrate. But none of these forms have been shown to be more efficient or effective. So I suggest you stick to what is proven to work.
All right, so I hope you enjoyed my second YouTube video on creatine. I also just want to say a quick thank you for all of the support you've shown me so far on my YouTube channel. We've been able to reach 500 subscribers in just a matter of a few days. So that's awesome. I really appreciate it. Now let's get to a bigger and better goal. Um, about the video itself, we've touched on quite a few topics about creatine in the video, but there are also a few uh, subjects that I left out just because I didn't want to make uh, the video too long. And those topics specifically are just non-responders to creatine and the potential hair loss issues uh, associated with it. You can find more information on that in the first comment that is uh, pinned below in the comment section. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. You can expect a video every two weeks or so. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And I'll see you in the next one.